This is something I really wasn't expecting. This is baby Kestrel. He's been with us for a few weeks now and um, he was a premier. He's, he isn't a premier anymore. He's looking really good. But Kestrel has a new baby brother. This is Willy Wagtail. In keeping with my bird theme this year. He's having a yawn. Get us a bit the dum dum. So he was rescued by Leonard a couple of days ago. He was um, found under the colony on a pathway and somebody was walking the dog and found him. He's extremely fortunate to be alive really and that one of the big um, water dragons hadn't eaten him because that's what water dragons do. They clean up animals that drop um, live or dead. They're not that fussy. What are you doing there, little man? So he still had his umbilical cord attached. He's been a bit of a fussy feeder. He's a little bit, a little bit bigger than Kestrel, but he was a big newborn. But they'll grow up together because they don't really have any options. Um, it's very late in the season, but you never know what's going to come in anymore. Do you want your dummy? Where's your dummy gone? Here, look. Do you want that dumbbell? No, not sure what he wants. Maybe it's the pink one. There, have the pink dummy. There you go. Yeah, so a bit of excitement there. It's also the time of the year when the first flies start flying out. We had a very unfortunate one this morning that had to be euthanized. Really sad, poor little thing. But, um, it's not the best time of the year for us, unfortunately. But very fortunate for Willy Wagtail here. And he's got off to a very fortunate and good start. He's doing quite well. He wasn't terribly respons responsive when he came in, but he's doing much better now. Aren't you, you good kitty? He's looking for his dum dum. Anyway, it's feed time, so I better go and get that sorted. Kestrel's looking nice and bright eyed as well. Yeah, good boys.